Whenever I download like new plugins or whatever, usually with every single one, there is some sort of like manual. And especially on the YouTube advice videos that, you know, you just do music and eventually you just do it and then eventually you learn. It's just the thing is, is with that is just reading the manual of whatever plugin even effects or whatever theory it is. It's just so much easier because, you know, you don't have to guess. You don't have to waste your time. You can just educate yourself, you know, learn what everything you have does. Cracking is weird because even with Tor, which is supposedly super safe and whatever, blah, blah, blah. There's still risks with Tor, even if I can't name them, you know. There's no way Tor is free, so when whenever I Tor a crack, it's like, you know, is touring this software worth compromising myself? Even if it's free, even if you, you know, whatever, download whatever Windows application, <laughs> I don't know, VPN, blah, 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 it's, there is some sort of risk. Another thing that people don't really talk about is standardizing your workflow. What I mean by this is not exactly using templates, reusing chains, or using the same VSTs even. Well, I think the best way to describe this is using an example of myself with how I use my faders. I personally call it my rule of eights. So inside of a FL project, I'll never have a track that's at like 100% or say 60% or 20 Instead, I'll always use 98%, 88%, and 78%, and so on, whatever, whatever. This way, so, at first I just did it because I wanted to have, like, an even number. But at some point, I stuck with it and I realized, huh, this is really useful because if something's too, out and too loud at 88% volume, and it's too quiet at 78% volume, then I know I have to do something with the EQ to get it where I want. This way, I don't have to A, B, recklessly and waste a lot of time. Instead, I can just get really fast and consistent results and that I know works. Pacing yourself. I'm not sure if how I would explain this would be exactly correct, but what I mean, and I'll try my best to define it, but what I really mean is that you don't exactly have to go, even if you are in a flow state, you don't exactly have to do music straight again and again for non-stop one hour etc and not to make this about myself but i find that i make a lot better music as i take frequent breaks like every around 20 minutes just to absorb what i've made and then take a short break whatever just to i guess i reuse the same word absorb what i made and then add on to it and then really understand instead of piling it all on top of each other